Hi, morning everybody. Um, you know me, uh, it's uh, Mr Stapleton here. Um, we've got the very able Mrs Finn behind the camera there who's done some very interesting surveys uh, with you guys which we're going to um, sort of address in some of the video that we're putting together here today. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's got involved with that because it's given some great insight about what we need to do next. Um, particularly some of the work that you've put out about some of the work you're finding difficult. So we're going to feed that on to um, the teachers. You know, so for example, in English, some people find a jacket ride a little bit difficult. That's really, really useful for Mr. Nicol that we've just been speaking to now. Um, in computing studies, for example, programming is posing a little bit difficult. I mean, that's really helpful to know as well. So that communication is great, and that's what we really need to know. Um, also great to see some feedback about the pre-recorded lessons. Um, it's looking as if you're finding that uh, much better than actually than some of the, the online stuff. So that's again, that's really valuable feedback and we might put another survey out to try and dig a little bit deeper about how we can make those a little bit better um, and what we need to do to enhance the experience that you've got online too. Now some of you um, were quite concerned about just saying that you were quite anxious just about being out and about. A third of you said that you hadn't been out at all during this lockdown period. So that's why we're here at the minute, so that um, when you do come back, um, hopefully in September, we don't really know how it's going to work out yet, because we don't know where we're going to be in August. But if all things were well, um, and we were all back in, then there wouldn't be any issues at all, because it would be completely risk-free. Um, where we are at the moment is that we've got about 25% of year 10 and year 12 in at any one stage, um, and it's terrific. And we're gonna go and have a quick look and chat to some of those in a minute from where we are. So, um, but what we're going to show you is just some of the things that we've got in place around to help you feel a little less anxious, take some of the stress out of it, and then we'll talk you through it. So, you probably know that when you come in through the school gates, which is just over there, um, you walk in and you'll come in, you'll be directed. And those people who are already here in year 10 already know the classrooms they're going to, already have their timetable. That's all on the website. So if you look at the school reopening plan, it will show you kind of how it's working and some of the things we've got into place. But when you do come in, the first thing is that you'll be asked to do is to go over to these sort of new washing stations that we've got, put that on, that will go for um, the precise um, length of time that you need to wash your hands for, um, put the soap in, this antiviral soap that you've got there, give your hands a good wash. I'm not going to do them for the exact length of time that we need to do because I've been doing it all morning. Um, wash your hands there, all outside, bit of cloth there, bit of paper towel. You'll see these by all the entrances in the school, put those safely into the bin and then you come inside. Now, these will all be open because we're keeping the whole place particularly ventilated, but all the door handles get uh, swapped down and cleaned during the day as well. We've got two cleaners on site during the day as well, which, was, which we didn't have beforehand, and they go around cleaning all the sort of hot spots of what people might touch during the day, and all the agents that they use is all antiviral as well. So in you come to the building, and here you go, there's another little bit of uh, antiviral gel there that you can use, push that right in as well. So everybody will be completely antiviral, by the time they actually get into the school buildings and, and into the classrooms. Okay, let's go and have a look at the classrooms. Okay. Right, okay, well, well we've just come from outside and inside. We're just gonna go into the classrooms just so you know what's going on at the minute. I think we've got Miss O'Connor in here teaching with some super year 10s. Morning. Morning, Mr. Morning. Excellent. How are you feeling today? Good. Don't all shout at once. <laughs> <laughs> Curb your enthusiasm, everybody. Good to see They're you just back. really stuck into their simultaneous equations, so that's what it is. I can see you're, you're locked in and here's me interrupting this as it's all fabulous. Right, I'll leave you guys to it. Okay, let's get. So, um, we're, 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 the setup for the lessons at the moment are that when students come in, they've already got their, their specific areas. So, um, the students have literally had their own names down here in the classroom, so this is always going to be their area. At the moment, we're providing their books for them, so you don't bring anything in and you don't bring anything home. So that's how it works. Don't forget all the lessons are still being pre-recorded online as well. So in terms of catch up, everything's in there that they're doing at the minute. This class isn't being used in today because we've only got up to 25% of them uh, of the year group in at any one point. So um, this is quite, you can sort of see how everything is divided out. So the students are actually kind of quite distance away from each other and they are the only ones who will use this classroom. There is no other group that can do that. So we have minimalized the risk to every single point. As you can see there's less than half the amount of children would be in here at any single one point. Um, as you can see, they're actually coming and enjoying it. So this lot are only in on Monday and Tuesdays. This being a Wednesday, they're not in here, but we'll see them back in again on Friday, okay?
So um, we're just out in the uh, senior playground up there. We've got some able uh, year 10 students who we've sort of uh, put into a half Nelson. Sorry, they volunteered to come out and speak in front of the camera uh, for us. Um, who might be able to sort of give their impressions about what, you know, some of the anxieties or fears or, or may not have been when they came into school. So we're all at a socially uh, responsibly distanced uh, from each other, apart from those two over there, they're sisters. So, so they, they can do what they like anyway over there with themselves. So that's why they're <laughs> over there. Okay. Listen, I mean, you know, we've also got Mr. Oakley behind the screen here as well. He's out here with his able year 10. Um, just, 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 just what's your thoughts about how it's been so far? You know, what, before you came back into school, what, what were your thoughts? What, what, were you, did you have any concerns or did you have any fears or were you worried about anything? Or? I mean, personally, I was a bit scared, but then at the, at the time, like, I started going out more, like, to the park, and then I realised it's not really that scary, and then when, I, when the teachers offered me to come into school, I thought it's going to be better for me, because like, then I'm not alone, and I can actually get help, like, with work, because I, I found work really tricky, like, to learn at home, because I don't really get, like, any support from teachers, like that. Yeah. but yeah, it was a good choice to come in. Yeah, I'll, I'll come on to that bit about, about feeling catching up in a minute because that's another concern that people are, are saying about you know they're really worried about not not sort of being able to catch up or they're feeling a little bit they'll be behind what would you say about what would you say to people who felt a little bit behind in their work and they were worried about coming in about that what, what it's fine you? because the teachers like still give you support anyway so they'll still help you anyway have you found that teachers have helped you address any of the stuff you weren't sure of at home now that you're back in school yeah they help me a lot and like i feel more comfortable and like I learned a lot more in school, but like I still get like work done at, and like still get anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's the stuff online still there, but any sort of misunderstandings and stuff. What's, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I just yeah. think that um, coming into school, the teachers are just uh, really good at going back over what we've done at home. So making sure that we're catching up with that stuff, and then we go home and just carry on with the work we've been set. Yeah, and I think everyone's in the same boat. Like we're not all. We're not, if not everyone's, everyone's struggling, but some people are just going to speak about it more than others are. But um, we're all in the same boat, we're all going through stuff, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's important, isn't it? Because I think one of the things that teachers are trying to do at the moment is trying to work out where people are at first, and where people are at is very, very different, and then try to address any misconceptions and, and bring them up to speed. So I wouldn't worry too much if you feel that you're really behind, they'll be there for it. So I'll just ask another question about, you know, how do you feel about, or any, do you, if you had any anxiety before coming back, how do you feel about anxieties about being in closer to people than you may have been before? At first, I was like scared in the room because I thought I'm going to lose a lot of friends, and because like, I didn't go out at all, so I was kind of scared that I'm not going to see my friends at all, and like they're not going to like me in the room. But then when I came back, the teachers helped me, and like my friends were still there, and like we weren't like we were like before, like you we know, were the same. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Do you know any, any, anything to say? Or? Yes, yeah, so yeah. I thought I'm going to lose a lot of friends because like I've lost contact with some people already, but like I still have like my friends when I came in, like people were here. Yeah. I'm just talking to them, like especially in the link, there's a lot of people in there. Yeah. And I can also talk to the teachers here, so it's nice. Yeah. Um, if, if you were perhaps a student who might be looking in who is not at, not actually contacted anybody at all over this whole period, and that, and that could be up to about 20% of, of, of students here, what, what advice would you give them? I would just say like speak to someone because once you speak about it it gets a lot easier like you start worrying less because you feel like you haven't got all your worries just to yourself to kind of share with them and everyone is going through this together so um people can give advice to you that you can't necessarily give to yourself so you can talk to anyone teachers friends family and stuff so yeah, yeah brilliant. is there anything else you'd like to get any advice that you give for people who might feel a bit nervous about just in general about getting out and being back into school it's generally not that bad Really, so I was scared, but at the same time, it's really nice that like you still get to talk with your friends and just say like two seats away from each other. But like, it, it generally is really nice to like come back and be, be with the teachers and your friends. Yeah, fabulous. Brilliant. And the teachers are not as strict as I thought they would be. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What's going on? I didn't know about this. <laughs> I think the teachers are going to be strict, but they're actually still nice and everything. They like teach you, like yeah. they're not gonna, they don't hurry you up and everything. They actually like teach you slowly and yeah, and you don't have to worry about anything. Fabulous. Yeah. They kind of take into a consideration that what we've been through, and they don't just jump in straight into lessons. They talk, they ask us how we are and stuff, and it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, great. Yeah. Really nice. Fab. Well, look, I can't thank you enough. Really, really thank you. We dragged these guys out of their lessons literally two minutes ago to come and say, come and answer some questions. So I promise you that's all from them. Okay. What I would say is that if anybody's got any questions or anybody's worried about anything, please, please, please just get in contact with us. Um, do read the newsletter, that, that's on the website every day, we've got the school reopening plan, 
that's all out there. There's a risk assessment up there. If there's anything that um, you're worried about, you want to get in contact with us, the email address that we've stuck up is cv19 at st-josephs.slough.sch.uk. Brilliant. Take care. Bye.